Hello students, I'm your teacher, Ms. Naini Mzui from AG High School, Kohima, and I will be teaching you maths. So today we will learn numbers up to five digits. Okay, so in your previous class, in class three, you have learned the numbers up to four digits. So today we will learn about numbers up to five digits. But before we, go, we get into the class, let's recall the numbers. So when I say numbers, what comes to your mind? Yes, one, two, three, all the counting numbers come to your mind, right? Like one, two, three, and so on. So we count things or objects using the numbers and we write things using all the counting numbers, one, two, three, and so on. These are called numerals, okay? So now let's learn about the digits. So what is a digit? The part of a number are called digits or digit is a part of a number so every digit form a number so for example the number 23 has three digits because um, because this 203 has three digits because 2 is also a digit 0 is also a digit and 3 is also a digit so 1 2 and 3 so here you have three digit number and that's where the uh, blessed value comes in okay so let's freshen up with one example so here you can see there are 10 boxes you may count the boxes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 boxes you have 10 boxes in one boxes there are 10 bottles of cold drinks again you may count the bottles one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so here uh, I have a question for you. So, Mr. Apu owns a cold drinks shop. He keeps cold drink bottles in boxes. Now, in each box, he has ten bottles. Can you find out how many bottles will be there in ten boxes? Okay, so here uh, the question is, they're asking us how many bottles will be there in 10 boxes, right? So you have already counted the numbers of boxes as well. You have counted the number of bottles as well. So in one box, there have 10 cold drinks, which means 10 times of 10 bottles of 10 boxes is 100. That is why 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10, plus 10 is 10 bottles of 10, that is 10 times of 10 is 100, okay? Now, Mr. Ben is buying 10 boxes of cold drinks from Apu. So Mr. One, Mr. Ben wants to buy a 10 boxes of cold drinks now. Can you find out how many bottles he is buying? So uh, like I mentioned, in one boxes, he is keeping 10 bottles. So if the Mr. Ben is buying for 10 boxes, which means 10 into 10, because 10 boxes multiplied by 10 bottles, 10 number of bottles. So 10 into 10, you will get rupees 100. Now, again, you have another question. If you buy 100 such boxes of cold drinks from a bush shop, how many bottles will be there? So here they are asking you how many bottles will be there in 100 such boxes. So just as I, I have mentioned again and again, in one bottle, in one boxes, there are 10 bottles, which means uh, now he wants to buy 100 boxes. So you multiply it with 100, 100 into 10, okay? Because in one box, it contains 10 bottles. That is why 10 into 100, you have 1,000. Okay. Now, uh, now Mr. Apu wants to order one thousand boxes of cold drink bottles. How many bottles will he get? So he sold out all the bottles now. So now he wants to order again another one thousand boxes. So if he orders for one hundred one thousand boxes, how many bottles will he get? So if he is buying for 1,000 boxes, in each box it contains 10 bottles that you know very well now. So 1,000 of boxes into 10 bottles, you get 10,000. Now count the digits in, um, count the digits. See here you have 10 bottles here, that is two digits. On, uh, on the next one you have 100, so you have 
three digits. Next, you have four digits, and then you have five digits. So, um, in this activity, we have come across then hundred thousands and ten thousands. Okay, which means two digits, three digits, four digits, and five digits number. So, here you have a uh, five digit number. So now it's this digit, uh, ap after this digit, we will learn about this um, blessed value. This blessed value chart. So let us see how all these numbers are represented on a blessed value chart and spike up a cast. So here you have blessed value chart. So this blessed value chart is separated into two groups. That is into two groups and that is called a uh, period. Okay, it is separated into two groups and we call it as periods. So you have on the this written hundreds, it is called as one period, and on the other side you have thousands, that is called your thousand periods. In so in one period you have three places, that is ones, tens, and hundred. Ones denoted by O, tens denoted by T, H, hundred denoted by H. And then the second period is thousands and ten thousands. Thousands denoted by dh and ten thousands denoted by d, dh, d for ten and dh for thousands. So see the first number, the first number there it is ten. So while writing on a blessed value chart, you write zero on the ones place. So zero on the ones place, one on the tens place. Why? Because uh, that once represent that zero represents once, and it is it always start from the rightmost. So that zero blessed in once and one in tens place. Also, you should remember that in on one place you can accommodate only one number. In one place you can accommodate only one numbers. So here you have hundred. So hundred zero in once place again. Another zero in tens place. And that one is in hundreds place. Likewise, the thousands. That uh, zero, 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 and that one is placed on the thousands place, then ten thousands. So ten thousands also, you start from ones, then hundreds, thousands, and that last one is placed on the ten thousands. So that is how we use the blessed value chart. So it is... Um, let me repeat again. This place value chart is divided into two groups called periods, ones and thousands. In ones, you have three places, and in thousands, you have two places. Also, even while we are writing the number name, while we are writing them, we separate them by using commas. Uh, just like there, in the upper number, in the upper side, it is written 10,000. So 10,000, after the 1,000, you, you, uh, it is separated by comma. So now let's learn about apagas, spike apagas. See, the first one, it, is on, it has only two rods. It has only two rods, and the, the rightmost represent ones. The rightmost represent ones, and the next to right represent tens, just like the um, place value chart. So the first one, the first on these two rods, if you see the rightmost, it is blank. Why? Because then, in then, the first number is zero. And zero is nothing. Zero does not value, and zero is nothing. So it is blank. The next number you have one bit. Okay, one bit. So then is written on Apagas as like this, just shown in the picture. So blank, and the next number you have one. Now you have um, 100. So the next one you have uh, three rods. Three rods, again, just like I have mentioned, it's the, the rightmost represents the ones. Rightmost represents the ones and is denoted by O. So ones, here again, zero. Zero means nothing, right? That is why it, is, uh, it has been kept blank. The next one is also blank. And see, ones tens hundred. So 100 and 1 stands in, even in the upper class, 1 stands in 100. On the 100 place, it is given 1 bits. Next comes the 1,000. 
1000. Again, you will start from the rightmost, that is uh, once. Okay, so once it is zero, nothing, you wouldn't give any bits. Next number, no bit. Third number, again, no bit. And thousand, you have one bit. Now you have um, the next one, you have um, ten thousands. So in ten thousands, again, the first is blank because it is zero. The second is again blank. You know that it is zero. Third, zero. Fourth, zero. And the last ten thousands place we have the one bit, which make it ten thousands. So coming to this, we will do one exercises, one exercise relating to apacas. So form the numbers shown in the apacas. Okay. So from which number shall we start? Just like I have told you, we will start from the rightmost, which represents the ones. So here you have four rods and you have colorful bits. So let's count from the ones, which is from the rightmost. So you have you count the bits from the rightmost that is from once. You have one, two, three colorful bits. So you will write that first. Then you will uh, count the tens place. You have one. On the hundreds place it is blank which you will write blank means nothing. Nothing means zero. So you will write you will you will write zero in that place. Then comes thousand. In thousands place you have two bits. So you will write two zero one three which shows it is two thousand thirteen. So again the another bits. Here you have in previous bits you have four four rods but here in this question you have five bits. So let's start counting the bits from the ones place again. So let's count one Two, three, four, you have four bits, which you will be writing on the ones place. Then comes tens. You have two bits here on hundreds place. Again, you have zero on the hundreds place, which gives the apacas blank. Now you have one, two, three, four, five, five uh, bits on the thousands place, and on ten thousand you have three bits. So you will write as 42053 or you read as 35024 okay okay now uh, let's fill in the blanks uh, we have already learned what uh, what the blessed value chart is right so we will bless according to that so we have here thousands hundreds ones th ten thousands and tens so let's start from the first blank that is thousands so let's first count the numbers the blessed value of the numbers ones tens hundreds thousand so in thousand what can you see number five right so the blessed value of thousand is five so on thousands place you write as five now let's count again ones tens and hundred so on the blessed value of hundred you have two so you have two you, you write two and it is read as two hundred now once the right most you have seen that it is one so you just simply write one one once now ten thousand again once then hundred thousand ten thousand so in ten thousands place you have six so you will write six here, which you read as six ten thousands. In tens, second number from the right, ones and tens. So six, you write as six tens again. So let's do the next question again. That is 43,270 or 4327 and zero. So here, Mm, thousands please you count the uh, thousands mm, ones tens hundreds and thousands so in thousands place you have three so just as we did in the previous question you will write three okay hundred which number will you write in hundreds place two in ones place you have zero 
So you will write zero, zero ones. In 10,000, you have 10,000, you have four. Count ones, tens, hundred, thousands, and ten thousands. So you have four ten thousands and seven tens. Okay. And so now write the following numbers in words. So, uh, well, we were learning about the blessed value chart. I mentioned that while we are writing a number. While we are writing a number, we separate the number of 10,000 by comma. So here's 61,313, which is separated by thousands has been separated by comma. So you write as 61,313. The next number you have 71,643. So you write 71 together, 71,000, the periods. So 71, then write 643 together. Okay, now you have 29,060. How do you write? You first write 29,160. So you don't need to mention the hundreds here since it is zero. You just write 29,060. Write the following numbers in figures, which is more easier for you. 35,000. 361. So you write 35, put comma, and 361. More easier, right? Now you have 35,001. So you have you put 35. No, it, it doesn't mention 110. Just give it zero. On the ones place, you will write ones. So 35,001. Next you have 53,214. So you write 53,214. Um, now we will write a right greater sign uh, less than to make the statement true. So here the numbers are given. Uh, I hope you have already learned this greater than, less than, and equal to sign. Okay, so let me just remind you again that um, the, this, the first sign represents greater than. The first represents greater than. The, le uh, the second one represents less than. Okay, so, and this open mouth is towards the bigger number. So you compare the numbers. You can also imagine it has a little thing of fishes. Let's start. 74,285. On the other side, you have 5,621. Uh, 5,621, yes. So 74,000 um, is greater. Next, you have 37,541, 37,451, 74,012, 23,232. So which one is greater on the P compare, comparing? 37,541 is greater. Next, you have 23,222 is greater. And then you have 28,341 is greater, which you read as 5,203 is less than 28,341. Circle the greatest number in each of the following. So the greatest number, which means the bigger number, okay? So here you compare 216, 1,131, uh, 5,830, and 6,000. So here 6,000 is greater, so we will circle the 6,000 number. Now we have 7,142, 7,124, 7,151, and 7,115. So which one is greater? You know that 7,151 7, is greater. Mm, okay, so now you arrange the following in an ascending order with the symbols. So uh, in the picture, it is given that it is arranged in smaller to bigger number. Okay. So here's 7,286, 7,268, 7,284, and 7,248. So here, which number is uh, smaller? 
7248 is smaller next you have 7268 next you have 7284 next you have 7286 the next number again let's compare which number is greater I will smaller we'll start from the smaller number that is 19684 next 19864 next 40819 next 40918 so arrange the following in a descending order with the symbol so here again the picture represents the descending order okay so we will arrange the number from the bigger to smaller number so here you have 2139 3,139, 1,239, 9,123. So here you have 9,123, which is greater. Next, you have 3,129. Next, you have 2,139. Next, you have 1,239. Okay, again, the next number, 1,000. 10,273, 96,130, 79,025, 4,631. This has already been arranged in an, uh, so we will arrange in the descending order. You have 96,130. Next, you have 79,025. Next, you have 10,273. Next, you have 4,631. Okay. So here, question number eight. Form the greatest and least four digit numbers from the given digit. Use each digit only once. Here, greatest means the bigger number, whereas least means the smallest number. Okay. So in order to form the greatest number, you have to start from the bigger number or the greater number. So here you have four digits and you are asked to form a four digits, right? So let's first write greatest numbers. So greatest number you start from 9, 8, 6, 2, which makes 9,862 is the greatest number. The smallest number is 2,689, okay? Now you have B, you have 1530. So you will write greatest number is five so you will start from five five three one and zero it's just like uh, ar arranging in a descending order okay so you start from the greatest number so five three one zero which we read as five thousand three hundred ten and the least number is one zero three and five so here you might be wondering why didn't i write this zero one three five okay because see if you read the question you are asked to um form a four digit number you are asked to form a four digit number so here yes you are right it is the smaller number here is zero but i can't start with zero why because zero is nothing which it doesn't have any value which makes it 135 so it when it is 135 if you read 135 135 it becomes three digit number so we, we cannot start with zero. If there is zero, you always start with one, then comes the zero. Okay, so that's all for today. See you in the next class. Thank you.